hello everyone welcome to 90 days with jesus devotional wow i'm so happy i'm so excited it has been an amazing time being with jesus every single day and today's topic is saying do you believe wow do you believe and the test scripture is taken from luke chapter 1 verse 45 it says blessed is she who believe for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. Believing is sin. And as a child of God, it's not sin with our natural eyes, sin with our spiritual eyes. Because we do not walk by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. That means once you see it in the scripture, it is done. And because God has told us, He said the honor is word more than his name. That means if he has said it to you and you can find it in that scripture, you will have it. So believe. All we need to do is to believe because we are believers. Furthermore, it says, believing is sin. It is sin with the eyes of the spirit. It is sin today, right now. The picture of your desired future. It is taking literally everything that God tells you, which is what he told Mary. That means everything God has told you, every prophecy that has gone ahead of you, it will bring it to fulfillment. The same way he told Mary, you will bear a child. And she actually gave birth to our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It says again, say, when the angel told her that she's going to give birth, she believed without actually having anything to do with a man. She was a virgin and God performed it because he has said it and it came to pass. If there are anything you are believing God for, you, are, you might be looking at it as it's getting towards the end of the year. And these 20 things that we've been talking about since January has not come to pass. He's the God of the 11th hour. He will actually show up. He will show up in a grand star. You just have to believe. What is that desired dream? Is there something you have been believing God for? He said, I created the heaven and earth by just saying the word one day. You can do it. Your case is not different. Yes, he created you. He put those desires in there. And you will have it. You will have it. Eh, better than the picture you have in your head. Believe God. God is faithful. Don't be like doubting Thomas. Yes, he said, until I see it. No, if you have seen it in the world, yes, you can achieve it. Yes, you will achieve it and it will come to reality. Praise God. For further scriptures, Jeremiah 1 verse 12, Numbers 23 and verse 19. Study the word. Let it enter your spirit, man. That is all that you need. That is all the evidence that you need. And I'm sure that you would share that testimony with us. Praise God. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for your word. We do believe. We believe you, God, that when you say the thing, it comes to pass. We believe you for the other things we've been asking for. Before the end of this year, our 20 things will be complete. You are the one that we exceed our expectation. And we thank you for bringing your word to pass in our life. We thank you, O oh God, for your word. Because your word will become constant in our life. And that is the reality that we need. In Jesus' most powerful name we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Enjoy the rest of your day.